Hey everybody, it's Tony D with Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant on True Things, a new movie, a romantic movie, but it's more of a pretentious romantic movie. It's like an indie movie, so it's a little different. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links are in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, available at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free, and I still get paid. So, True Things uh, stars uh, Ruth Wilson here as, uh, I wouldn't say she's middle-aged, but, you know, a girl who's getting a little long in the tooth. She doesn't have a man, and she meets this guy at her job, which I'm not sure what it is. But uh, he's a bit of a bad e egg, you know, a little, a little bit of a rough guy. And uh, she falls madly in love with him. And uh, it, he's not a good... I'm, I'm getting the sense from the trailer he's not good for her. But then this came up. Explores female sensuality and longing in all its complexity. Okay. Uh, so it's really about her and not about him. And uh, so I, I guess it's just a pretentious, a beguiling character portrait. That that's not a good uh, good review in my view. If it's beguiling, it's, it it sounds like it's confusing. And this is her friend who looks already sick of her and her crap. Oh, you're gonna save him, are you? Uh, which is a thing women do. They want to save guys. They want to fix them up. And um, he tells the line in a movie. He says, "You have to find your tribe." And she goes, "You are my tribe." You know, with her voice cracking. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign for this romance. And then, of course, the inevitable later, she's like, I tried to call you, where have you been? Kind of thing. And he's just like, you know, I, 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 I'm I, busy. <laughs> I'm doing stuff. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty spot on. I'll give it that. I don't know about intoxicating. Um, so, and then her parents get on her because uh, they say she's difficult and that's why she doesn't have a man. And then she's like, oh, stop it. True things. Coming soon. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can read these credits here. All right. Uh, based out of the UK. Yeah, it's an English movie. Written by Harry Wootliff and Molly Davis. Directed by Harry Wootliff. There's a lot of, a lot of guys. Uh, they're, they're making movies. And they're advertising for female screenwriters. This sounds like a movie where that actually happened. Where they actually needed a female screenwriter. I could see in a movie like this why you would want a female screenwriter to help you out. To get a female's perspective on this thing if you want it to be true. And I gotta say, you know, it looks... It's not one of these fluffy romances I, I normally review the trailers on on a, on a Sunday. Where it just looks god awful. This looks... Looks like it's well made, but it's the same story, right? Boy meets girl, it don't work out. <laughs> or maybe it does. I don't know. I would, if I had to guess from the way this sort of laid out, first act, you know, she's kind of a boring, you know, run of the mill girl. She's pretty, though. Um, getting, getting a little long in the tooth, doesn't have a man, and then she you know, meets this guy at work. He asked her out, but he's a. Uh, I'm not sure what she does for a living. That's that's uh, she works in some sort of office, possibly a government bureaucracy. Anyhow, he asks her out on a date. She goes and falls madly in love with this guy, just madly in love. The parents don't approve. He's, you know, she's so in love with him, she can't help herself. Her friend is like, you know, you can't save this guy. She insists she can. Um, she's just. It sounds like she's too in love with him. And that, I think, in general, in life, is a problem for a lot of women. Especially, you know, there was a study, and this is true, a female neurologist did a study of men and women in their brains after they have sex. And what she discovered was that women and men both get a shot of dopamine, Oxycontin. But for men, it's a much smaller dose. For women, that shot is so big that the the high they get from being with somebody lasts 
two to three years. Two to three years they, they chase that high. And um, I think that explains a lot of bad relationships. It certainly explains some of mine. So uh, if you think you're doing yourself a favor by jumping into the, to the sack right away, you're not. You're not. Because this is why I think women fall head over heels in love, at least at the beginning. Because they, they gauge things a lot of times by their feelings and uh, ignore, uh, ignore the red flags, just like a lot of guys do, but for different reasons. Guys ignore, ignore red flags because they want to get sex and a woman is beautiful and they'll just ignore the red flags. I, I've been there. I think we all have. Um, so, so, you know, it, it, on that score, the, the movie looks pretty, pretty good. You know, it looks like a real romance as opposed to these fake happy romances you see in a real movie. So that it explores female sensuality, you know, that that's not the kind of review I want to see. What I want to see is something like, you know, the, I mean, the movie's called True Things. What I want to see is this movie really digs into relationships and how they really are. The, this isn't a uh, fairy tale romance. This is a, you know, real, real relationship thing. Now that all being said, I still probably wouldn't see the movie because I, I tend not to like romance movies, and I, I don't. I tend not to like a movie like this that may hit a little too close <laughs> to home for me. But uh, you know, if I was bored and I was dying to see a movie, I mean, it looks quality. I'll say that it looks pretty quality. I mean, the leads look good. It looks very realistic. It's an English movie. The sensibilities over there are a little different on things, but for a movie like this, I think it would, I think it would be more realistic as opposed to something that was too big and full of, uh, full of uh, celebrity, you know, actors. So you know, I if I had to watch a romance movie, this would probably be close to the top of the list. Yeah. So it's called True Things. Uh, do we have a date on when it comes out? I don't think we do. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying it. Not saying it. Um, so that's it. That's it for True Things. Check out that romance movie whenever it comes out. I think that'll probably go direct to streaming if I had to guess. Um, and check out my other videos. We have uh, videos on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Today is going to be a News Blast and a Piney podcast. I also already did the live stream. The live stream was a live Hollywoke hot take. Remember, every Sunday at 2 p.m., live stream. Uh, next week, uh, uh, by request, we're going to do a screenwriting um, live stream and probably do some more Hollywood stuff, too. So check that out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.